<laughs> Moving on to learning goal five, I can find the volume of a complex figure, which should be already on there. Um, we are going to talk about now taking what we know about finding the volume of a rectangular prism and applying that to a more complex shape. So a com composite solid can be made by putting together two or more rectangular prisms. To find the volume of such a composite solid, divide it into individual prisms, use the formula volume equals length times width times height. To find the volume of each individual prism, then add the volumes to find the total. That sounds like a whole lot of work, and we're going to take you step by step through an example problem so that you will understand what we're doing. It's actually not that complicated, I promise. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take this figure to the right over here, which maybe some of you looking at it, you can automatically visualize and see that I've, you can see there are two different rectangular prisms, and in this one it's shaded in two different colors. Okay, so where it says find the volume of the blue rectangular prism first, then you find the volume of the other one, then you put them together. So our first one, our volume of our blue, remember it's length times width times height. So my length, I'm going to say, is 3 up here. So I'm going to fill in my length times width. Width would be this dimension. I don't know exactly what that dimension is, but if I notice it's the same thing here, which is the same over here, which is the same down here, so it's 5. So this one, and it might even help to write it right in, so you can see. So 3 times 5 times 9 is my volume. So when we go to multiply these out again, we're going left to right. So 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 9. To be honest, I don't know what 15 times 9 is, so I'm going to write it over here off to the side. Real quick, 135 cubic inches, like we talked about before when you're measuring volume, it's in cubic whatever units. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to find the volume of the tan one. So we have 15 is my length. Well, wait a minute. Actually, this 15 is the whole length, isn't it? So if I do 15 here, I'm not talking about this part. So I need to subtract this 3 inches off of it. So this one actually becomes 12. Okay, it's like I'm taking this one. So this becomes 12 times my width 5 times my height 3. So again, 5 times 3 is easy for me to see is 15. 15 times 12. I'm going to multiply that one off to the side. I end up with 180 cubic inches. So when I find the total volume, I need to find the volume of the blue plus the volume of this tan shape. So I end up with 135 plus 180. So if I add those off to the side, notice how I'm just making this a crazy mess out of my paper and that's totally okay. I would rather have your paper <laughs> be messy and have you show your work than have you just guess on it. So my answer when you add those together is 315 cubic inches. Wow, so, I'm impressed, Mrs. Thank Bush. Thank you. All right, so the next one is a pause and try it. So please take a look at number two. It's got, um, actually it's the same one, isn't it? Only this time it's got the tan and the blue mm -hmm. different. Yep, it's so broken up differently. Try and find the volume of the blue, the volume of the tan, and the total, and then come back and we will go through it and see if you figured out all the dimensions correctly. All right, so looking here, if we think about length times width times height again, and we're going to focus on the blue one first, I see here that the length would be 15, so I'm going to write that in. And our width is the same as before. It is 5. And then our height is 3 inches. And if I look here, 5 times 3 is 15, and for some reason, I don't know why, but I always remember 15 times 15 equals 225. Now, I could, of course, do that off to the side as well. And you that would that work out fine. I don't right? know why. It just sticks in there for wow. some reason. I know. Lucky me. I did not know that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for the next one, we're looking here at the tan shape. And now we have to think about the same thing. Our length and then our width and then our height. So looking here we can look at, let's see, we have, oh my goodness, length would be just this section right here, right? It doesn't really matter in which order. I guess order. we'll do, 
I'm going to call this my length. Thinking that's what okay. I'm, okay, if that works. Um, and then we have our width again is still the same shape right here. So it's going to be 5 again. And then the only difference is now when we're thinking about our height, we see this 9 inches, but we also remember that this right here is 3. So really, we have to figure out the difference between those two. Right. So 9, take away this 3 already here, is going to be 6. That's why it's a little bit different. So looking here, we have, I like our 6 times 5 is 30. And then I can easily do 30 times 3, since I remember our rule about zeros, that that would equal 90 then. So now I just have to add those two up together. And hopefully you came up with the same answer we did here. It should still be that same total volume of 315. So this is just showing you that either way, you could have decided to take this and visually drawn it straight down, or taken this and drawn it straight across. Either way, you get the same thing, as long as you pay careful attention to mm -hmm. these ones where you have to change it. Yep. And so when we're looking here, you're going to have um, two to practice on your own from this side of um, on this paper. And if you look here for number four, we wrote these in so you can actually show breaking up um, one shape and then the second shape and then adding those two together. So it's really up to you how you decide to break it up. You could either break it up going right here or... I'll show you in a dotted line that way. Okay, so you just have to think about what makes sense to you and figure that out. Mm -hmm. Then also for number five, um, there are different ways you could break this one up too. Um, my suggestion is just across this way because then you only have two shapes to exactly. add. If you do it the other way, you would have three shapes three. to add, which yep. just is more work. So we're trying to help you out. Yep. So make sure, again, volume of one, volume of another, and we're looking for you to show your work like we did up yep. here. And then TV is the total volume, so you're mm -hmm. adding your totals together. All right, so that's it on the front page. Now if you flip it over... On the back side, you have two more on your own problems. We would like you to see how these can be real world situations here. So you're going to notice that you have a building that makes up two different rectangular prisms. So you're going to break up here and here and come up with the total volume again. So you might see some work off to the side. Mm -hmm. And then number seven as well, you have to come up with the top part of the computer and then the volume of the bottom. And pay and careful attention. This is 0 0.7, 1.5, so there is couple decimals, decimals in there. And Good on luck. numbers 8 and 9, you don't have to do these for homework, but please don't cross them out. I know some of the kids in my <laughs> class like to cross out ones we don't Big assign. X's, we yes. will be going through these together, but you do not have to do them right now. Okay, so... Good luck. 4, 5, 6, 7. Right here, right? 